Archimedes' principle says that the buoyant force on an object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by that object. When an object is sitting on a table, gravity is pulling it downwards, and the normal force is pushing it upwards, balancing out gravity. When the table is removed, gravity is still pulling the object downwards, but now it's the frictional force from air resistance pushing up on the object, trying to balance out gravity. If the object is placed in water, there is water pressure pushing on all surfaces of the object. But fluid pressure increases with depth. So the two pressures on the sides are going to be slightly larger than on top, and the pressure on the bottom is the largest. The two side pressures cancel out because they are balanced. But the vertical pressures do not cancel out, and we end up with a net pressure pushing upwards. This is called the buoyant force. The buoyant force is trying to balance out gravity, which is pulling downwards. If the net force is upwards, the object will move upwards. If the net force is downwards, the object sinks downwards. If the net force is zero, the object will float right where it is. Here we can compare the weight of an object in air to the weight of an object in water. In air, this object weighs 4.5 newtons, but in water, it only weighs 4 newtons. That means the buoyant force must be pushing up on the object with a force of 0.5 newtons. This force is not enough to balance out the object, so it will sink. This object weighs 3 newtons and air. When placed in water, it reads 0 newtons because it's floating. The buoyant force is also 3 newtons, canceling out gravity. Here we see that when an object is placed in water, it will displace an amount of water equal to the volume of the object that is underwater. If it's totally underwater, it's the volume of the object. If it's floating halfway underwater, it displaces half its volume. Archimedes' principle says that the buoyant force on an object is equal to the weight of this displaced fluid.